Southgate steps out as fans desperate for news on Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's royal baby. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, headed to central London today to meet pupils attending an institute for children with emotional problems as she continues her work focused on tackling mental health issues. The Duchess was welcomed by well-wishers in London's King's Cross today where she headed to visit the pair's family school an institution for children who have been excluded from mainstream education for bad behavior caused by conduct disorders and emotional problems. Kate, who has returned to public duties following the Easter break, wore an elegant forest green Amelia Wickstead dress, paired with nude heels and matching nude clutch for the outing. The institution visited by Kate, which has successfully run a four-year pilot on a temporary site, is now schooling 48 children aged between 5 and 13. During the trial period, as many as 60 percent of the children taking part in the program were able to return to mainstream schooling in a little more than a year, and 95 percent remained in school. The institute is at the heart of a wider project, the Cantor Center of Excellence, which brings under one roof various departments of the Anna Freud National Center for Children and Families. As a patron of the charity, Kate officially launched the new school's location in the association's new London home. The Duchess of Cambridge will meet children and their families and take part in a music class during her visit. Professor Peter Fonagy, chief executive of the Anna Freud Center, said, Childhood mental health disorders have reached unacceptably high levels. As a society, we have a moral imperative to drive change on children's mental health. Opening our new building is our contribution to this, giving parents communities and practitioners the skills, knowledge and support to help children build their health and well-being, and the confidence to seek professional help when needed. The Duchess of Cambridge has of made early years intervention on mental health issues a cornerstone of her public work as a royal in the past years. To investigate the issue, Kate has set up a task force of experts with a view to announcing a series of findings and recommendations later this year. Kate's visit to central London today may signal Meghan Markle's due date is still a bit far away. The Duchess of Sussex's royal baby is believed to be due within days. Kensington Palace has never revealed the official due date of Meghan and Prince Harry's firstborn. But Queen Elizabeth II may have dropped inadvertently a huge hint regarding the arrival of baby Sussex. According to her royal diary, the Queen is carrying out engagements only in Windsor for the next seven days which may signal the monarch's desire to remain just minutes away from Frogmore Cottage, Meghan and Harry's new home.